Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be playing with some new makeup. I have a few new goodies here that I'm gonna be trying on for the very first time. And then I have like two other products that I have already played with, but I really wanna share it with you guys. So I just thought, why not? Let me go ahead and apply it and show you guys the products um, here on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you guys that I wanna show you guys is this It Cosmetics, this is their Hello Results um, Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol Serum and Cream. So I actually got this really PR, big PR package from It Cosmetics and it has a bunch of like skincare goodies. And this really intrigued my interest because if you want to improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, discoloration, um, and the feeling of loss of elasticity and firmness without complicating your skincare routine. So I am actually really excited about this because lately I am I am 32 and I have slowly started to like get into skincare more often. I'm like, I love Botox, don't get me wrong, but I feel like also taking good care of your skin is super important. Um, and I've been trying my best to do that now, um, especially here with Arizona, the water is super dry. Um, like I have to use lotion constantly, which I did in the past when I lived in Oregon, but not so much as I do here. Like if I skip lotion in this state, like, yeah, it's not cute. <laughs> so I feel like the water is super harsh here. It's really cool because like once you remove the cap, I just discovered this like not even that long ago. Oh, I also self tan. So if my hands look cray, sorry. <laughs> so you remove the cap and then you can just push down like this and it pushes up the product so you can just go like that and it cleans it for you isn't that so cool i love stuff like this so it just says to apply it pretty much in your t-zone oh it actually smells really good <sighs> normally for me my wrinkles are right underneath my eyes crow's feet and my forehead which i don't have that much wrinkles <laughs> If I go like this, you can see my 11s already. I'm like, I need Botox. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more and I'm just going to apply it right there. It actually feels really nice. It doesn't tingle either. This is like my first time actually using this product. Um, it feels really great. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot more often and I can let you guys know how I like it once I completely run out of this and give you guys like my most honest thoughts because with skincare, I feel like you can't really tell right away if something works. Like you do have to try it um, constantly. So you are supposed to wear this, I think once in the morning and then once at night. Um, yeah, so use once daily, uh, morning or night. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the new, this is from Benefit. This is their Professional Light Primer. So it claims to be ultra lightweight face primer to minimize the look of pores. And you guys know that I have a lot of pores right here. That's just who I am. I wish they were not there. I also have blackheads that I struggle with a lot. It instantly blurs and refines the look of pores for 12 hours. Lightweight, breathable, refreshing, and cooling sensation. So it's brand new, so you guys can see I haven't used it. I am just going to apply it in my T-zone, not my forehead. I normally don't really put primer on my forehead. It is clear, so you guys can see, I think. So super, super clear, just right here, which is where my pores stick out a lot. I am going to apply some on my nose and I'm just gonna apply it on my chin because on my chin, I do have pores. On my forehead, not so much, so I'm just gonna skip my forehead. So for foundation, you guys, I've played with this foundation once and I've been obsessed and I haven't used it yet because I really, well, again, because I really wanted to do it here for you guys on YouTube. And I've actually gotten a few DMs on this foundation when I did share it on my IG stories and you guys have been wanting a follow-up. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with you guys and show you um, how bomb this foundation truly is. <laughs> Even though I've only worn it once, I love my um, NARS, let me see. I love love my NARS um, Soft Matte Foundation. I got the same shade, um, Stromboli Medium 3. Um, so it's the exact same shade. This is a, a shade that I normally 
um, were to use if it's summertime because I do get more color. Um, so I am obsessed with this one. It literally lasts all day. I feel like overall NARS complexions, um, like foundations are seriously so good. I would use them a lot when I used to freelance too. So this is called the Light Reflecting Foundation. So it is more on the lightweight side. Um, compared to this one, this one's matte. So it, this one definitely has a little bit more of a glow than this one. Like as soon as I apply this one, it feels super matte, but it has really great coverage. So I am going to apply this with a makeup brush and I'm going into my B Bella NG357. I'm just gonna start to apply it. Normally I do my eyes first, but I think I'm just gonna do my foundation first. I don't know why. I just started this way. <laughs> but you guys can see it has amazing coverage. I think I started with skincare because I went into the that it cosmetics cream. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down my neck. I always like doing my skincare to you guys before I go in with like my foundation, concealer, and all my face products because I just feel like if I don't, if I skip my skincare routine and, I, and then I just go in with foundation and makeup, like I feel like my skin doesn't look as soft and as pretty as compared to when I do apply, I do my skincare routine. It, the foundation of my makeup just looks so pretty. So I don't have a new contour shade So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'm gonna apply the concealer with you guys. I'm back <laughs> So I'm gonna go into the concealer. This is brand new I haven't used it yet from NYX Cosmetics a bear with me concealer Serum. Oh, we have a lot of serums going on today. <laughs> so this concealer has 24 hour hydration. It's great for dark circles, for acne, redness, and irritation. It does have medium coverage, available in 13 shades. And apparently it leaves your under eye or your skin moisturized for the entire day. With concealers, you guys, normally, you know, this one has a pump. So I'm gonna place this on the back of my clean hand. My hands are always clean before I do my makeup. So I'm gonna just add a pump there and I'm going to apply this with a brush because some concealers normally have a, they have a wand and this one does not. So I'm up with my brush and I'm just going to apply it down the sides of my nose like I normally would. I don't know about you guys, what you prefer. Do you prefer a concealer that has a pump like this one or a wand? Let me know what you guys prefer. I honestly, don't really mind because when I used to freelance, I used to do it this way with like a brush on people. Um, but for me, I guess if you're like on the go, you know, like let's say you're getting ready in your car, I feel like a wand would be definitely better and like less messy. <laughs> totally up to you. I guess everyone has like their own personal preferences. I have applied another like half pump just so I can do my forehead. It definitely feels lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. Or cakey like you can tell right away when a concealer is more on the matte side let's just see how this does cover hopefully it covers very well so I am going to blend this right away with a makeup sponge this is from beauty creations I love using the sponge and I'm just going to blend this out and then I'll let you guys know how it looks I haven't used this concealer yet so I'm this is like my first time using it okay so oh it's pretty it's really nice and natural let me bring you guys a little closer so you guys can see it's super hydrating. You can see right away. I don't know if you guys have ever used a matte concealer. Like you would know immediately that there is a huge difference. So it looks like skin. I like that. Nice. All right, you guys, you let me know. What do you guys think? How do you think my skin looks? I feel like it looks super nice. Like it feels hydrated. It feels not matte. I feel comfortable. I feel like I don't have a lot of makeup on, even though I do. <laughs> my skin feels great. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just apply my setting. Oh, actually, no, I'm lying. I do have a blush I want to show you guys. So I got this scent in. Um, I got this from PR. This is from Patrick Ta. This blush, you guys, I've used her twice already. She is bomb. And let me tell you why. <laughs> I have the color She's That Girl, and they have different colors, obvio. So the thing that I really like about Patrick Ta, you guys, with their with their contour shades and their blushes is that they have a cream and a powder. So sometimes it can be really tricky because like I do like cream blushes like by themselves like this one, 
um, and then it's really hard to kind of pair it up with another blush just kind of like making sure that the undertone won't change so it can be kind of difficult um, for you to really nail that blush color um, especially if you've used a cream so I love that this one has both so when you lift this up this plastic thing um, that separates both powders, which I think is genius. You go in with your cream first, and then you go on top with the powder blush that matches the cream. So I'm going to go into my Sigma brush, the F10. I'm going to start off with the cream first, so you guys can see. It's like really pigmented. And then, of course, we already applied our concealer, our cream bronzer. Actually, sorry, I forgot to, like, I forgot to blend out my cream contour one more time. So I'm just gonna smile and I'm gonna apply the cream. And I do apply it on the apples of my cheeks because I personally really love when I take pictures and I can see some pink on my um, apples of my cheeks. And then I do start to move the product into my cream contour just so that it ties all together. But like, look how pigmented this is. It's so pretty. Ooh, so pretty. I love. <laughs> Before we go into the last blush, you guys, I love to apply this towards the end once I'm completely done with my entire face. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply my bronzer, my powder bronzer, and then apply my setting powder, and then I'll come back with you guys to do an eyeshadow look. And I'm using the new, well, it's one year old, but it's new to me, the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette, and I haven't played with her yet. Like, look how pretty she looks. So I can't wait to play and dig in um, and show you guys a nice bronzy look. All right, you guys, I'm all powdered up. <laughs> I just have my translucent powder chilling on my cheeks. Now let's dig into this palette, you guys. Like I said, I haven't used this just yet. I haven't even taken off this um, mirror cover, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go into the shade called Magma, this one right here. And I'm going to place this all over my crease. So literally going in right here. I'm using my Ofra cosmetic brush. It has been through some things. <laughs> I've had it, I've had this brush for so many years. I'm just applying some more towards this outer corner, you guys. So I'm gonna pick up some more and then just pat it right here. The next shade, you guys, that I started to put down is called Sundown, this really pretty orange color. In this shade, I'm going to be using it to um, blend out that brown that we just used. And I'm going into my Morphe M433. So I'm pretty much going in right here and then going towards the inner corner, moving it towards the outer corner. I'm just making sure that everything looks soft and blended. I do go back into that Ofra cosmetic brush with absolutely no product and I'm just starting to buff this out as well. I'm gonna grab the shade called Deep Dive, which is a dark shade, but it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. And I started to apply it right here and I'm not mad at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wing it, taking my Morphe M506 brush and I'm just picking some of that shade up and just applying it in the inner corner. This does have some fallout, so just an FYI, but just taking it in the inner corner and then I'm gonna slowly start to bring it in to my crease and then dropping it down towards the outer corner and then I'm gonna apply it towards this outer corner very gently I'm gonna start to wing this out these eyeshadows are so pretty now still using that same Morphe M506 I'm gonna go back into magma this one and I'm just going to run it right on top of it but just to like make sure that we blend out those harsh lines my morphe m443 and i'm gonna apply it towards this outer corner as well just so it looks more smooth okay so i did cut my crease you guys because we are doing a halo so i pretty much just focus it towards the middle and then stopped for the outer and inner corners and i just blended that out with a small little concealer brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and darken it up one more time diving into deep dive one more time and I'm just going to I'm going to blend this towards this outer corner and then the inner corner as well I'm gonna go back into the shade called sundown that orange shade and I'm just going to apply it right here using tapping motions and then we are gonna apply a um, shimmer shade in the middle I went into the shade called silk this one right here and like look how pretty that is mm -hmm. that is bomb i'm going into my jaw cosmetics cc number one brush with no setting spray because this is really like creamy 
and I'm just going to take it all the way and just gonna focus this right in the center of my lid. I'm gonna go into this black eye pencil from Urban Decay called Perversion. It's just black and I am literally running low as you can tell, but it's so good. It's so creamy. So what I'm gonna do is just run this on top. So I'm gonna tie line and then I'm gonna run it in my waterline. I'm gonna go into Magna or Magma again, you guys, and using the Smudge Brush E21 from Sigma, blend out that liner, that black. Do you guys remember the blush from Patrick Ta? So remember we have the cream, now we're gonna go into the actual powder blush. And I'm gonna go into my Makeup by Ariel in collab with Morphe, and I'm just going to pick up some of that blush. I am going to just apply it right on top of it. So it's kind of like when I go in with my cream contour, and then you guys know that I always have to go in and set it with a um, bronzer. It's the same concept. And this is really awesome because it's like, it matches your cream bronzer. Um, so you don't have to go and pick up another blush, which you totally can, it's optional. So anyways, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I shared some new products and new products um, that were new to me as well. And I'm gonna go in and just kind of let you guys know my thoughts on the product. So I'm going to start off with the It Cosmetics Wrinkle Reducing um, Cream. I definitely like it. I love the feeling of it. I love the packaging. Like, I love that idea. I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but to me, like, this was like, whoa, I love that. <laughs> with skincare, like I said, I definitely have to use it more often to kind of give you guys my full you know, review and honest opinion about it, but so far so good. I mean, anything that has anti-wrinkle in it, I want it. <laughs> the Benefit um, Pore Professional, their light primer, um, I kind of didn't really feel a difference compared to the original primer. Um, so I'm gonna continue to keep using this to kind of let you guys know, um, but so far I feel like it kind of did the same thing as the other one. The only difference is that I would definitely say that it's not as thick as the original one. So that's my thoughts on that so far. Um, the foundation, of course, you guys, amazing, so bomb. I love it. It's lightweight. It has really good coverage, in my opinion. And I mean, you guys can see my face right now. Like, it's really, really stunning. I love it. I don't know why people have not been talking about this foundation. It is seriously so bomb. Concealer wise, so the NYX Cosmetics Bear With Me Concealer, I think it actually looks really nice. Um, I feel like it's very, very lightweight. I will say that it's not completely matte, but it did cover enough. Um, is it my favorite? No, but do I think it's pretty? Yes. <laughs> it covered up what I normally like in a concealer, um, so it's not bad at all. I definitely recommend you guys getting this. It is also drugstore, so it is more affordable than a high-end concealer, and I think it looks really nice. What do you guys think? Let me know. Patrick Ta, you guys. This this is hands down one of my favorite products that I played with today. Of course, I have played with it a little bit already, but I wanted to show you guys and I am obsessed with it. Like, look at this blush. It looks so pretty on the skin. Again, this is She's That Girl. Check them out in Sephora, also Sephora.com or Patrick. Um, topbeauty.com as well. I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested, but I love this just because we do have a cream blush in case you just want to wear a cream and not set it with the powder. You have that in this palette, or if you want to use both, you can definitely do that. Just how I showed you guys today on how to apply it, um, but I love this color. They have different colors as well, but this one's definitely um, a really, really good color. The eyeshadow palette, you guys, so, so bomb. And you saw me do a tutorial and the picture you guys they really performed very very well I mean the blend the blendability on this now I can definitely see why these palettes can run up to like $150 this one I believe was like $60 I think um, I found this one at Sephora but I love the quality the pigmentation I love this glittery eyeshadow you guys saw I didn't even have to use a glitter adhesive or any um, setting spray to apply it you definitely can to create to have more pigment um, but you guys saw you don't have to do that um, I am obsessed. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below. What product was your favorite? Or if you have any other new products that you want me to try, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely go out and purchase those myself and do a video for you guys. And let me know if you like videos like this. If you do, also give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram because I will be posting this makeup look on there. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on Thursday. I think I might be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look for Thursday's video, as well as for Saturday in Espanol. So, los quiero mucho. Besitos. I'm sending you guys a really big hug, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.